Hello everyone, welcome back to a brand new Lush Life video. I'm your host Leon, joined by the illustrious Mrs. Lush, my co-host and wife. Honey, take a look at this picture. Who do you think here makes, which, excuse me, which influencer mm. do you think in this lineup makes the most money go? Now this isn't a final ranking, so we don't know. I'm just gonna go ahead and say the dude on the right because he looks like a awkward nerd, like Minecraft YouTuber. Gamer. Yeah, he probably yeah. spends 18 hours a day in Discord and in a fantasy world and makes like 7 million. Like I need to dream. hear a little bit before I can make any, I can't, I don't know. Dream 2.0. All right, we got a, we got a Jubilee That's a very drop. good rationale, but I have no idea. I mean, of course, none of us. That's the whole point is to just make snap judgments on. That's what we do on the internet, remember? Okay. Yeah, go. I'll say the girl with the skirt with the thigh high legging. Things. Right here, okay. Stalking. Sure. All right. Good guess. Which influencer makes the most money? Everything about this video, the premise of it, makes me want to gag a little bit, but we thought we'd watch it with the wife, so here we go. I'll go ahead and say I pointed this out last time we were recording. Yeah, so it's, it's her fault. It's we saw a bit it. of my choice here. We saw it on, she saw it on the sidebar and was like, ooh, look at that one. Uh, the group starts off by testing periods. They aren't allowed to mention their yearly earnings until the final reveal. Fair enough. Uh, what I ambiguous gray area there. What? Yearly earnings. One year you can make like ten dollars on the internet, and the True. next year you can make. I feel like you need a yeah, especially as a influencer, it can be very erratic. Or you can go from zero to sixty very fast. So bougie looks. I will like, put you in the front. I agree. Actually, yeah. Really? Yeah. yeah. I'm gonna shoot down like three spots. I disagree. I personally believe you probably make a billion dollars. Classic nerd put himself in the end. I the same thing. He gives me ga maybe gamer. Yeah. Uh, I'm going to put him in the middle. Kiss me He's still mentally she here, she here for me. I feel like your shoes, Rhea, are kind of expensive. Right, so now we're judging people's income based off their shoes. Uh, Terrible. That's not good. I mean, but what else are you going to work with? That's the whole point. Let's decide their income based on what they're wearing, which is an insane thing to do, although for some people it might be. Those yeah. could be expensive or like they could literally be from JCPenney. Quality Penny. platforms are usually like plus the all two, oh. 200 all to $300. Dollars. You give me like, um, you have like a million followers on Instagram and you do like oh, model shoots every single day, like fashion shoots. That's what I was thinking about her. <laughs> I want to put Wait, her in the girl with the skirt. They like fashion Hold on, shoots. I swear I've seen this girl Raya in something before. Raya and the Last Dragon. <laughs> yes, maybe she was in another cut video or... They do reuse people, we know I that. I yeah. her in the middle. So what she what? just said about Raya was what I was thinking about the girl in the skirt, like Instagram model, taking photo shoots every day. No, just IG photo shoot. Yeah. Run. yeah. Or she could be a gamer. I am curious. The, the main thing I'm curious about is what which platform is their main source of income. I'm very curious about that you, as like, well. No, it's not TikTok. YouTube is very old school. Like most young kids make their living on Instagram. Did you just call yourself old. I say old school. Like it's just the it's the OG of content monetization. Yeah. And then yeah, like certainly some of these kids are TikTokers. I would imagine Twitch. Instagram. I hope I would hope at least one of them main source of income is through YouTube, but I, I would be very, Twitch? I wouldn't be shocked if 0% of these people had like YouTube as a main paycheck. Twitch definitely, yeah, okay. for sure. What's your name over there? Grace. I don't know, you give me like the vibe that you have, you make a lot of money like selling cookies with your sweaters. <laughs> or like sweaters. She's wearing a cardigan? Like, yeah. Yeah, very sweet. Yes. Yeah, very sweet. And you have a fun TikTok, TikTok. So I think you are like over here, over here, yeah. I like this. I kind of like it. I'm cool with this too. I'm just saying, tick, it's not going to be a TikTok influencer. I'm going to disagree. Like I think Raya should be one more ahead. Okay. Like that's a weird Bye. distinction to make. Like it's you've you've settled it. And you're like, no, these two need to swap like one space. Like how? Yeah, what's yeah. the difference? Josh, you guys have not like, given any information. Kind of like maybe, a, yeah, maybe between you two. Yeah, I agree. I would be good right here. Josh, no, no, Josh, come no on. Josh. Yo, he's like, I don't make nothing. My man's like, I don't make less than this. I don't make less than this like nerdy, like, I know a pasty lot of white boy. Wear, like, only H and M, but they make good money. Well, it's because like a lot of girls wear Fashion Nova, but they're wearing like a thousand dollar shoes. Yeah. True. So I don't hate this lineup. Yeah. 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 Oh, oh, yeah, kind of like, like, yeah. You think this is the lineup? Okay. Fashion Nova's cheap. Cheap clothes. Expensive, expensive shoes. Nice. Videos about like tech reviews and tech stuff. Oh, that's money. I tech, run okay. a couple businesses from it. What kind of tech businesses? Like can laptops, computers. Like type on keyboards. I make like custom ones. Um, and I also now I'm getting the like clothes, so I designed this hoodie. 
I feel mm. like you're great with money. So even if you maybe technically didn't like huh? bring in as much as some other of us a couple of years ago, you maybe have grown it more because you're probably very smart. I'm sure you're investing. I feel like you absolutely I think need to go higher up. up. How many TikTok accounts do you have? Three that have done well. You should Second take my spot. Ten? I would do that. Wait, what? what? I didn't hear the question. Said, how many TikTok accounts do you have? Three that he's done okay. well. He's, yeah, this this dude probably crushes. The, the people that, most, the, that make the most money on social media are the ones that aren't focused on their personality. They just run every, they just run multiple accounts like a business and like basically game algorithms and like sell stupid shit to millions of people just because they know how to get a bunch of views on dog shit. That's where you make the most money. I envy those people because you don't have to be funny or look cool. You can just be like a super nerd. Yeah. And exploit the, <laughs> exploit the platforms. Question. Yeah. I thought that people didn't really make money on TikTok specifically, but they're saying TikTok. No, he's saying he's running multiple businesses from his TikTok. Okay. Though. So that's it. Like TikTok can bring you a lot of eyeballs. So if you have the right sales funnel into something that makes sense, you can make a ton of money. Specifically, advertiser dollars on TikTok are not nearly as good right. on a view to view basis than you would find on something like YouTube because it's short form and it's much more ephemeral. Not to say that, like, if you have several million, you can have pretty decent brand deals on there, but it just typically pound for pound advertiser dollars it it doesn't compare but if you're selling things and you mm -hmm. can get a good sales funnel you can make a ton of money it just depends on what your business model looks like Here. yeah second. i would i would put you like second let's do second tech is a lot of money plus you have all these other infants the girl with the black leather yeah. pants so not, i well, teach people how to be now. content creators second, but i'm also a twitch streamer do you sell a course? Streamer, there you go. Hey! Uh, I don't sell a course because I believe in like making education free for people. So uh, I don't like paywall. That dude's like, How yeah, do you no. make your income? Uh, Are any of them on OnlyFans? Ooh, yes, absolutely. That's, I even, I don't know why I didn't think about that. That's like the number, one of the number one revenue sources for uh, several young women these days. Um, without the ads. So I get $2.50 for every sub that I get. That's like one way that I make my money. And TikTok sponsorships yeah. mainly. And I also have like Instagram and YouTube and stuff, but they're like really small. I mean, those are two pretty lucrative platforms, but also yes. you have a lot of morals, which makes me think you don't make as much money. <laughs> it's, driving me, it's driving me nuts that I know this chick from another video I've watched. Raya? And I don't know where, yeah. Face super, super, uh, like, I just don't know if I know her outside of Jubilee or if it's just been a past Jubilee video. It's very possible. Well, don't, don't, Googler yet. I'm not going to. You haven't sold your soul. Yeah, yeah I mean, that, with the LA rent rising, though. I still yeah. don't think you should be last, though. Like, I don't feel like she should move until we hear like, a couple should Yeah, be yeah, last, I would though. keep myself down I here. I like, <laughs> bring her here. <laughs> uh, so I do a few different things. Uh, um, my big one is I am a sex educator. <laughs> Might be incriminating myself right now. <laughs> yeah. That's so funny. Just launched the third season. So I've been doing that since 2019. Uh, and said, I do sex, sex education content actress, on my Instagram as well as on my TikTok. And then I also upload all the podcast episodes to my YouTube channel. Ooh, I YouTube and she's been doing it for three years. Affiliate. But my, my one caveat is sex education, which in terms of making money through sponsorships, not many companies would True. want to unfortunately work with a sex educator, even though I think it's like a cool and thing. And it's harder to get ad revenue because yeah. um, yes. I'm constantly, you know, working Shout through bands and things mm -hmm. like that. How are you making most of your money though? Through all of those, as well as OnlyFans. Oh, but OnlyFans makes money. Yeah, you can mm, think. OnlyFans have such an uncapped potential, I would put you up here. You're really incriminating yourself now, honey. I'm telling you, I've never seen this brother on OnlyFans, okay? <laughs> I'm telling you, but I spent a lot of time on, I spent a lot of yeah. time on Twitter. And I know, know this, I know this girl from something, probably a viral clip. I've definitely never seen her naked. I don't know if I'd remember even if I had, but. Third, top three. <laughs> okay. All right, so uh, I make like content just around like money and I try and teach Gen Z uh, good like money habits with short little funny videos. TikTok. Finance makes so much money because not only do they push it, but you also get so many sponsorships, especially from YouTube. Are you on YouTube or are you on primarily TikTok? It, it goes like in this order, TikTok, Instagram, YouTube stuff. Yeah, it's typical Gen Z. Like they start on they start on TikTok and then it kind of trickles down and they have YouTube, but it's not really generating much. Facts though, they are, they are preaching that finance as a niche makes a ton of money i know i know finance youtubers that get like less that i've seen get like half the views i've gotten in a certain month and make like 4x what i've made just from it's really insane just because it's based on what you know these companies are willing to spend on ad spend and finance youtubers are typically looked at as people you know 
are based the demographic is perfect for people yeah, yeah. it's like so there's a lot of ad spend going into that demographic of people makes sense yeah as opposed to like being a minecraft youtuber it's like there's going to be less ad spend because your audience is like 12 year olds and yeah. aren't spending money Videos also, especially in the way you do them with comedy, are super shareable. Like those are the kind of TikToks that end up on Reels, they end up on Facebook. I would put you up because of finance. Yeah. Finance is such a lucrative niche. I'm, I'm okay with that. Yeah. <laughs> ah. He's like, yeah. Okay, I am- They've moved a lot. Up. I knew it. Yeah. I knew I could tell. What'd she do? Like, yeah. Okay, I am a TikToker. I knew it. Yeah, I knew I could tell. Uh, I do all mostly TikTokers. fashion stuff, like secondhand fashion, vintage stuff, and lifestyle. What do you sell? Uh, I don't really anymore. I started like my TikTok promoting my she, online vintage shop. I feel like she's in the and right just, position. Like, do fashion I mean, stuff. Do you do it full time? Yeah. Sure, so your stuff. revenue comes from sponsors. Yeah, it's like all social media now. I don't know. Fashion makes like no money That's unless true. you're a thin white woman. <laughs> so, <laughs> so she's a thin white woman. What are you saying? <laughs> uh, first of all, that's. I, I, you know what, I don't know fashion, that just seems false. Being plus but size sure. in the social media industry is definitely been hard. There's visibly fat plus size people, and then there's people with the quintessential perfect curves. Like almost, unfortunately, how plus size are you? Yeah. If you what? do lifestyle, but you're a small creator, you get nothing. I don't know about the plus, the plus size gradient. I don't know about it. Visibly fat versus perfect curvature? Comes down to personal preference, right? I would imagine, right? How much of a Kardashian do you look like? like Ugh. Do you have like a big butt? That's visibly like decimated by a scalpel. Yeah. <laughs> That's what yeah. that is. That's nothing. Visibly altered? Yeah, visibly fake. Like yeah. only gifting campaigns and then like even then they gaslight you into feeling like you should be grateful for it. Yeah, absolutely. But given I'm guessing you sound like you're a very large creator and then like I feel like I've seen your videos on my pre page, I would maybe put you first. Choice oh, words there? Yeah. I'm also, this is like my first year doing this. Yeah, I Again, say, I'd say anyone right sizes. here. I don't me. think I make more than you. She's talking about this is my first year doing this? Yeah. And they're still trying to put her up. First year doing this TikTok only fashion? I put don't her at think the end, bro. She, yeah, no. Yeah. That's what she's Let's try. Mm -hmm. Okay, Let's so just be I am um, the end. plus size supermodel. Why'd you? So everything I do is pretty much lifestyle around that. And it's what a plus size supermodel. Plus so plus size everything model, I do is pretty much lifestyle around that. And it's been my full time job for about four years now. I have my own cannabis and sexual wellness podcast. So I do that separately. I also have my like own consultation and coaching business where I teach aspiring plus size models. So I have an online course that's a master class that I do quarterly. And then I also have a blog separately that I Jesus. post on one to, at it's least busy. once a week. And the ad marketing is just starting on my blog. So it's not too far in there, but I'm very familiar with ad marketing and revenue. Have a, a lot. I will put you first. Absolutely. Like, just, yeah. yeah, you have Absolutely. so many streams of income. So many streams I don't, of income. Impressive. I don't think I'd go first, but I she does. I don't think first, but definitely up there. And Grace, I think it was with the cardigan. I think she needs to. Just get, yeah, get all go. the way to the end. I agree. Uh, like but last this, or second to last. This chick seems to have the seems to have a good presence of mind around how to monetize, uh, you know, an audience. I guess. Yes, but also, why is the only fan sex educator girl? So far down. Uh, good question. She definitely needs to be. In we'll front see. Of yeah, the, the, what, the, you got to ask her like, are you in like the top percentage of OF? Because there's a OnlyFans is the or, same as any other wait, social I'd media platform. Hear, does she make more money on OnlyFans or her other stuff, like the podcast and other stuff? Because it, typically that only might fans. give a little bit of a yeah, but that might give us a little bit of a clue. Very, very knowledgeable. And what about you, Kazumi? I do OnlyFans. I also do YouTube. I also do Instagram. Um, my main stream of income though is TikTok. I know this girl. She did a video with my friend Arab. I'm almost positive. Also an OnlyFans. She's a she's a legit adult film star, I believe. Oh, so my friend my friend Arab is a IRL streamer, and he goes around, travels the world, and like does collabs with different videos. He did a video where he took her out to dinner. I believe, and in that video they talked about money. If this is the same girl, I can't remember. This girl's absolutely number one right now. From We're, what she just said, she needs to go to the top. Yeah, yeah, hundred percent. Not specifically from ad revenue, but I make like seven to ten TikToks, and I just like pump out as many reels of me as I A can. A day? Yes, with wow. different with different captions, and I just lead it back to my OnlyFans. But I do, I make a lot of memes. That's like my kind of like niche. I make. Do you have a billboard? That's my niche memes. No, sweetheart, you're an adult entertainer. I'm sorry. You're not, you might enjoy you're making not, memes. Yeah, you're but not. A, you're that's not, not paying the bills. Yeah. In <laughs> WeHope. Yeah, I do. I do have a billboard in WeHope. I saw that. Okay. Yeah. Do you take sponsorships? No, I'm a sex worker, so they don't. Sponsors don't want 
me or my face to represent their brand. The I mean, that's not entirely true. If it's a, there's plenty of products in the adult industry you can sponsor, obviously. AdamandEve.com. I did a quick sponsor for them once. <laughs> and I get away with that is because I also am a sex educator. So, yeah. But it's it, I completely understand the second they hear that you have any sort of like OnlyFans or sex work. Yeah, like, and I've gone and deleted like seven times. Yes. Where do you yeah, yeah, like what's that's, your percentage that's, that's on OnlyFans? I'm 0.01%. Okay. Number right, one. Well. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Number one. Switch. Absolutely. How many guys? You've been on OnlyFans, um, right? I used to do That's what you meant. Zero point zero Yeah, she's one of the top only. She's been on No Jumper, Adam Twenty Two's podcast. She's like, she's probably making several hundred thousand dollars a month at least. Parties and I would get for like fifty dudes a night. Okay, so you're on No Jumper. Yeah. What was that? Um, I used to do parties and I would get for like fifty dudes a night. Okay, so you're on No Jumper. <laughs> yeah. That's the kind of video that goes. Hun. These are the small little steps you have to take to be top 1% on OnlyFans. It's all for the cash, baby. What? Why not? 50 Ds in one night, small beans. Ow. If you're making that six figgies. <laughs> Viral. I mean, there's yeah. there's no doubt about it. That video has millions of views. So my photo is a photo of me in Vogue. Um, <gasps> so I'm, It's a beautiful photo. My butt's in Vogue. <gasps> Does Vogue pay a lot? It's almost kind of like no. like being a Playboy centerfold in a sense of like it's an honor. That's what they they use. Yeah. magazines oh, yeah, like yeah, that. Yeah. They use their their legacy status just because yeah. they know anyone that's oh, oh my god I can be involved. Really you, you don't, do don't care how much money you get paid, and that's I mean it's, there's some merit to that. Congrats on your new baby. Insert cash or select payment oh, type. Funny. Use <laughs> pinhead to complete transaction. <laughs> I'm true. sorry, what? The average cost of childbirth and pregnancy <laughs> care in the U.S. is $6,940 with health insurance or $13,000 without, and it can vary wildly. I changed my mind. What's your return policy like? <laughs> <laughs> this is my dad. Dude, I thought it was way more expensive than 13 k to have a kid without insurance, isn't it? Maybe not. He said it can vary widely. Yeah, I would think so. I don't know. It depends if you decide to, like, half die during childbirth or like not. Like you did? <laughs> When you hemorrhage on the on the child on the on the birthing table. Oh wait, this is gonna cost double now because we have to give you all kinds of shit to save well, you. Well, we at least still had good insurance because you were still working back then. So yeah. 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 Nowadays, yeah. Well, I wouldn't want to have a kid now. And no. this is his at-home work setup. He hates it. So today, I'm gonna try to fix it. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna first add a custom keyboard I built for him and a mouse, and then we're gonna go ahead and give him the Fopo triple monitor so laptop adapter. This is gonna turn it's his laptop screen into a triple monitor. Eccentric adapter. online personality versus he seems very shy right here. I know. It's very Gen Z. I wanna it's like you're a, you're an absolute G on social media, but you can't talk to anyone in real life. That's a product of the last 20 years. Oh, this is, where we're at. I kind of think is this the cookie girl? Oh, the fashion over girl, yeah. Wait, I love the fit. Yeah. That's pretty much what I Oh do. my god, Got that's it. so cute. Yeah, that's our noses smushed up against our kissing partner's face is actually opening up our nostrils and making their pheromones more obvious to us. I think I've seen this girl's TikToks, that's why. I'm still trying to Only fans uh, TikTok. Uh, uh, ameliorate myself from <laughs> She's got a very recognizable face. She does, it's unique. Whether you realize it or not, your body will actually react to that person's pheromones and can make you more attracted to them if your body thinks they're a good biological match. I would kiss you. That's woke. Uh, that's woke. Shut the fuck, shut up. I'm so curious, this is completely off topic, but the whole pheromones thing. Yeah. Like it's, is there, it's like scientifically backed, right? Pheromones exist. Yeah. And there's like, they, oh, you, like your body will, feel a certain way. I don't know. It's interesting. I think there's a whole marketing part about pheromones. It's nonsense. It's like, yeah, you wear this fragrance and it makes your pheromones come well, out. Well, I mean, people are attracted okay. to certain particular smells, but that's, yeah, yeah. 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 I agree. I don't know. Best websites for Twitch streamers. Twitch tracker is a website that tracks your stream data. It'll show you the max viewers, follower gains, and the amount of hours you stream per stream. They also have a very nice graph showing your average viewer count and the amount you streamed and cool streamer. stats like average viewer count per day. Yeah, so I'm that's like similar to the type of Things content I, I do. Know. Oh. I feel like I should go down in the tech men. I feel the like tech men should I want go to up. put. I think your name is no. Teddy, right? Yes. You second because I saw that. I saw that ad. Really tech pays well. That ad was really well edited. How big your audience I'm pretty is. sure like, companies to, will see that main. and be like, I want. I'm gonna go and sponsor him again. Well, it's the main deciding factor, it, which yeah. they don't show. Key. Till yeah, I guess. I wanna. I wanna arrange people around a little bit more. Oh yeah. They now, oh, here we go. Now okay. we're talking follower counts. 
All right, pause. Kazumi, pause. 500 on Insta, 21,000 paid OnlyFans models. You're talking probably at least 10 to 20 bucks per subscription. They can charge whatever they want on OnlyFans. Uh, okay. And if you have 21,000 paid OnlyFans, if say that, I have no idea what she charges for her rate. It's probably at least 10, but if even if it was only 10 bucks, that would be $210,000 a month just from OnlyFans. And it's probably more, I don't know. Teddy and Grace are kind of similar. Also, oh, Teddy's Taller. on 69, Jaw 69. Oh, so these are all very, I would say, modest in the grand scheme of things. Yeah. Quite a few on YouTube. So she. Who does? Raya? Raya, yeah. Oh, yeah. Maybe her podcast does well. Maybe she does the podcast, well. so yeah. I think she needs to I move up. I think she's up there, too. And I still think Grace needs to Nobody move Nobody over a million on anything. All right. You guys feel like numbers, like the follower count matters? No. Oh, hell no. Absolutely, Absolutely not. not. One thing I'd like to say is like quality, de de depending what industry you're in, because I have a friend it's who like, has do quite followers people, matter? the following yes I do, and, and no. 10 times the engagement, and I make so three times as much as she does because of the quality, and I sell usage rights so people can use it as ads. Yeah, yeah I think, yeah, I think, I think, yeah, I would probably second. Yeah, move yeah. Uh, How many hours do you guys work? I work every day. A lot. Yeah. Like this week, I worked <laughs> like four 18 hour days Ooh, at minimum. Girl. There's no day where I'm working, le like almost every single day where I'm working less than five hours. At least. I'm not trying to diminish what they were saying. Like it is hard work. And like when she was talking about like, oh, like work doesn't end, but like, it's like, it does. You can go get a movie and like, sit in your bed and scroll emails. It's not the same it's as like true. being expected to be somewhere and like be a slave 100%. all day and be off your phone. Like you're not a person when you're at work, but like you're a person when you're doing this job. Exactly right. It's the, there's a weird misconception because like it can be a really, really hard job because there's it's really difficult to separate job and life because your life in some ways is your job and that can be very mentally taxing or stressful. But at the same time, your job also allows you to take breaks when you want. You can go, like she said, do all these things and you're not working and showing up for someone. So there's, there's gives and takes, but but yeah, it's not to say some of these people don't work very, very hard, but you're never going to garner sympathy from somebody who like works in a normal nine to five. It's like, Obviously oh, I feel not. so bad for you. Like, no. 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 To when you do a job like this, because at first I was like, oh, I don't actually, you know, work that many hours. But then you, it's like the second I wake up, I'm checking and I'm deciding what I'm going to yeah. do that yeah. day. It's and the second I actually actually work work all the day. Yeah. yeah. It's like how do you decipher what's yeah, working Yeah, so it's not. hard when you're not doing it. Like I'm maybe not working four hours straight because I'll stop and I'm, I have the privilege of being able to grab lunch with friends or shop in the middle of the day or like do whatever I do. But that doesn't mean I'm not constantly, you know, mm -hmm. yeah. working yeah. in some capacity. And then like so weekends don't know. exist. So. Right, exactly. Yeah. yeah, yeah. There's really no days off. Yeah, they need. I need to know. This is the biggest thing they need to tell us. How many active, how many uh, monthly downloads do you have on your podcast? Because podcasts. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Cha ching. Yeah. So if any of them. And her sounds Raya, pretty well established. She does. She seems like she's a good speaker. Podcasts can, for a lot of people, are the main business driver. How was your come up? Because I started with gaming content, and then I transitioned into education. I did too. Like when? Huh. Oh my god. Love gaming, but um, like especially as like a female gamer who was trying to do content, I got memed on so much. Everyone's like, "Oh my God, you're such an e girl!" Like, yeah, sure. it, like ABG e girl, e girl aesthetic. Haha, you suck at the game we anyway. And now it's in. Dude, and now I, it's like I know, aesthetic. and now it's cool, right? What babe? year were you doing that? I was doing it in like 2018, 2019. Okay. I was That's doing it in 2011. Oh, oh. to be a female She's YouTuber in a male-dominated space in 2011 was. Traumatizing. Brutal. I have a question for you, Josh. Do you feel like you have to work harder or um, fight for what you're worth as a black man? I don't know if I necessarily have to fight harder, but it is a little bit harder to stand out and like, get people to take you seriously. It's actually one of the reasons that uh, I've signed with like a management agency that only represents black creators. Oh, okay. I love that. Yeah, so just feel like a you know like a small family. Absolutely. And you know, I know that they're like out there fighting to they're get like team. what's best for yeah, me. Yeah, absolutely. absolutely. They've been so helpful because I've run into other black creators that have like my similar following and a similar niche. I mean, they're earning way less and there's so much more money out there that they're just not getting, mostly because they don't know exactly what they're worth. I think Wait. that I think that problem extends beyond race, though. I'm not saying that's not an issue, but there are a lot of, I mean, this is a pretty, you know, nascent industry. So there's a lot of people, especially younger creators that might have a big kind of come up and have a pretty big audience and have the ear of a lot of impressionable people that have no idea how much their voice or their time is worth because yeah. they're new, right? So, and like what to do next? What to do next, how to monetize, what do I charge? Because you get to a certain point, you go viral, do this, that, and the other thing, you start having emails from people all the time. And it's like, hey, we'll do this or we'll give you that. We'll give you a free 
eye mask if you review our product and they're like, oh, I've never gotten anything free or got paid for anything. So all of a sudden they've quickly cultivated a large audience, which is very valuable to brands, but they have no idea how to how to put a monetary value on that. So that's just a problem industry wide. I feel well. like it doesn't. I feel like I need to go yeah, down I wanna, one I or two. Move down. I feel like with the YouTube audience, like, maybe I would switch this. I think yeah, Ryan needs to go Ryan up, dude. Yeah. And Josh, you've made I think she needs to go in front of the guys. Okay, but actually. I want to. I want to say this though. I have, <coughs> I have a modeling agency, and eighty percent of the work that I get, I get myself. That's fair. It's more about him getting one. I don't feel the need for one because I don't think I'm getting as many maybe as he is. Interesting. That's just my take. You have what's, multiple businesses. What's your second she has an agency as well. It's for my business, and it has seventy-five thousand. Now I have employees and I don't really do anything. Oh, you have employees? I really don't think I should be here. I think he needs you to be a second. Oh, he's employees. Oh, he's I feel like I just want to move myself in between, in between us. You guys. I, I, that makes sense or to me. Or like lower. How do we feel about this? They moved so much. Yeah, I know. No, no, no. I I would be surprised if Kazumi got dethroned, just knowing what I know yeah, about it. Yeah, yeah, but yeah. But I think we but could. We could get a. There could out, be yeah. a random sneak attack no. from either Raya or like Josh if he has some crazy weird. We don't know about him. Yeah. There's no, but he's in so tech. Quiet. Like, yeah, he's probably like an Amazon reseller or something, <laughs> and you know, making seven figures just like reselling dog shit on Amazon. You never know. Teddy, 115k He's all the way at the end. Wow. What? He's 115. No Jesus. Way. Bought Haley, 125K. Okay, wow. She was pretty honest about it. She was kind of making a face anytime people tried to move her up. I sh we should have known when they put up the follower account page and her main follower base was Facebook. Facebook, yeah, <laughs> yeah. That should have known! Yeah. <laughs> Sorry, meta. Wah, wah. <laughs> Six spot, cat, 175K. Okay, yeah. Oh, so she's she right where she would be. Grace, Oh, there you go. I'm surprised by that, honestly. Third spot, Josh. There it is, yeah. Ryan Kazumi. Every time. Up here. Or that, they could actually. Yeah. 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 Sex worker. Yeah. Let's go. What? I dress. Retire so tomorrow. <laughs> I mean. Dude, I told you she makes like hundreds of thousands of dollars a month. Yeah, like two to three hundred k a month. Fifty things in one night. Fifty she d's in a night. She. Million. She. <laughs> She paid the piper. Let me tell you that right now. Yeah. For uh, yeah, a no, night. she paid the piper. No, no pun intended. <laughs> Holy mackerel! Three million. Get a girl. People uh, hate when you make a lot of money in a non-traditional way, and they really hate when you make it off sex work. Yeah. So I was very, very Gen nervous about the reaction. reaction. I am an anomaly, and I don't represent what all sex workers make. I make a lot of money, but it is still something that you should deeply consider before getting into because it is something that has holds a lot of social stigma and does make life hard if you don't Indeed. like doing it. And uh, I just want to say that y'all have motivated me because I feel like I became like comfortable with what I was doing and oh, like, Teddy. I'm pushing myself recently. But now I'm like, y'all are doing so well. I'm like, dude, it's so insane because our perception is so skewed. Like. 115k annual income is fantastic. Yeah. For like, ins that's like that's insane. And like this dude has like one. He's making 115. 70k Instagram followers, like 120 on TikTok. But it does, it does go to show that like if you find the right niche or something you're good at, and there's a way you can turn that into an online hustle, even if you start like you know what I'm saying, spend an hour a day, five hours a week, whatever it is, just doing something you think is fun online, like watch one less Netflix show a week. There's so many yeah. opportunities to monetize literally anything on the internet. It's a shame for people that aren't at least trying to a little bit if they're unhappy with their current current circumstance. And I mean, that's he definitely has a lot of potential. I think that, you know, he's young. Oh, he yeah. could he looks definitely like make a lot of money in 20. the next several years. Yeah, anybody could. And he's already got a start. So it's, yeah. but to see that like 115 is the low end. I know. Is like, man. Well, that's you're crazy. Really you woke well. up and made a whole website by yourself. Oh, you're that nice. took me like three great. months on my great. blog to do. Yeah, when I was 19, I was homeless. So I am really proud of you and whatever you've done and the fact that you can employ people and, and do so many cool things of your life. I think there's an idea of what an influencer is She's in tiny, people's heads. Sure. And I think it's usually like a airheaded person who just takes selfies or uses a selfie stick. They sure. don't understand, I think, maybe the nuance. Like, I was kind of weird coming into it because I grew up really poor and like 100 
$180,000 is like so much money to me. I like, I would be happy making the amount of money I make right now for the rest of my life. And I feel like everyone gets into it and they're like, I have to be a millionaire and I have to like monetize every category of my life. And that's probably where it becomes like an insane job. I gotta say, in, I'm impressed by those numbers based on what some of the follower counts I saw specifically. Yeah, Grace. Yeah, specifically. The fact that she's making 180. Yeah, I maybe I have a misunderstanding of like how, in, you know, influencers are monetizing their TikTok following. Yeah. It just depends. Um, but I, I have, yeah, that's interesting. But I think ultimately we got the rankings pretty close. I think Josh was a little bit of a curveball. We thought he'd maybe be higher, but yep. you know what? They're all doing very, very well for themselves. Uh, congratulations. And we also learned that you do the two OnlyFans influencers right off the bat. No, so first of all, Raya, I don't- Correct me if I'm wrong. Raya, I don't know from OnlyFans, okay? She's an adult educator. She's I have no Only idea. Fans. She's been on YouTube since 2011. I recognize her from TikTok. Kazumi, oh, Kazumi, I know through mutual influencers that do a lot of, you have to understand, in the new age of the influencer, there's a lot of cross-pollination between the adult industry and just gaming, all other industries. They've all become kind of one because it's more about the personal brand now. How much it's not does like, she charge? I have no clue. I don't know. I have never, hand to God, I have never spent a single what? dollar on an OnlyFans model, right. okay? <laughs> hand to God. Oh my God. But you have to understand, I'm in this industry, so I'm gonna know who these people are because Kazumi, as much as she's an adult entertainer, she's a social media influencer. She's on all the podcasts. She's I on, get it. like. Which is very smart. Right, like Adam22 from No Jumper. I'm, you know, I don't know him personally, but I'm friendly with him. I've spoke to him before and he does one of the biggest podcasts, his wife, the mother of his daughter, is one of the top earners on OnlyFans. So like it's, there's this, it, the whole industry is kind of melded between gaming and uh, like tech. It's all just under the same umbrella now, interestingly. Anyways, the more I talk, the more I'm probably incriminating myself. <laughs> <For sure. laughs> Whatever, hun. Think yeah. what you want. I know who I am. The main takeaway from today's video though, on the same note, is the quickest paths, the quickest, the quickest, the quickest path to three million a year is 50 dicks in one <laughs> night, baby. <laughs> Woo! Yikes! On that one, see you in the next video. Peace.